All right, what's up guys, Chris or CIA here. Today's video consists of another CDL bracket prediction. This bracket prediction is being done for the CDL playoffs, which is the biggest event so far this season. This is the first one to include every team and the one with the highest stakes as only the top four make it to championship weekend. The event prior to this one, the Toronto Ultra Home Series, I had almost all predictions correct for the top four or heading into championship Sunday. Optic Gaming LA was the only team I failed to predict correctly who I had Chicago Huntsman in their place. Since this is a special event, a prize of $100,000 is being given to anyone who obtains a perfect bracket. $10,000 is also being given to the person who has the best bracket or the most leaderboard points on the CDL website. I still have hopes of course to eventually have a perfect bracket and also love to obtain one of these prizes. I thought this would be a cool way to end the bracket prediction series on my channel for the season and something entertaining for you guys to watch. Alright, that's pretty much all I have for now and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, here goes nothing. I will be starting with the elimination matches, so I'll be starting with LA Optic versus LAG. This matchup, I will have to pick LA Optic. LAG has had their moments where they've looked decent all season, but LA Optic, of course, they made uh, the championship Sunday last event, which is the Toronto Home Series, last event before champs, and they've had their moments, like they played in the finals first phase, but I don't think they're going to come out gunning here, which is why I think they will take this 3-1. And the other matchup here in elimination round one, we have the Paris Legion versus Seattle Surge. Paris Legion looked pretty good on land before things got corona and switched to online. And the Seattle Surge, of course, a lackluster team all season. Like I said before, I'll pull it out for my boy Octane. Unfortunate teams there, but I'm gonna have to give this one to the Paris Legion just for the same reason. I just been all season, Surge have just been lacking, and for that I'm sorry, but Surge. I will say can take it to a map five, so I'll say three two in favor of the Paris Legion. Next up, winners round one. Now here we say New York Subliners versus the Minnesota Rocker. The New York Subliners have been a team that have been steadily on the come up pretty much all season, and have now find themselves fifth place in the standings. So props to them. Now with an event win as well. Minnesota, on the other hand, on land was looking like one of the best teams in the game, and it's been slowly on the decline. But they're still very much going to be looking to gunning as they have not won an event, and they're one of the best teams that has not. Still, but I do think this one will go to New York Subliners, and I do think Minnesota will be falling to losers, which is why I'll call it a 3 to 2 in favor of New York. London Royal Ravens versus the Toronto Ultra. Winners round one, the other matchup. The London Royal Ravens, they've been looking pretty good all season. They have appeared in some grand finals and have been one of the best teams in the league all season. They've not quite been a top contender, I wouldn't say, but they've held their weight and have proved that they can compete with some of the best teams in the game. Toronto Ultra, of course, just played in the grand finals and are very hungry to stay on top and to keep the competitive edges they had last event at their own home series. I do think this is going to be a very close series. Both teams are going to be coming out gunning very much, but I do think this one will go in favor of the Lunar Royal Ravens just because with the XP of the Twins and Toronto, they're still kind of a young team. They're still kind of on the come up. But I do think Toronto will give them a run for the money, which is why I think this will be 3 2. Elimination round two. Seconding home the third and fourth teams here from the CWL playoffs. First match, we have Minnesota Rocker versus LA Optic. Both teams have had their moments where they've looked exceptionally good, of course. Like Minnesota, like I said before, was pretty much a top four team on land. LA Optic, on the other hand, has appeared in grand finals like they played phase and last event they appeared. They appeared T4 at the Toronto Ultra Home Series. I think it's going to be a really good series. But I do think that the boys in Optic, honestly, might be going on a loser's run here. I know that they have some fire on that team, and they do want to come out on top. Minnesota, on the other hand, they might be sliding a little bit here. So I do think this one I will have to give in favor of LA Optic. But I do think this series will also be close, which is why I will call this one 3-2. to two. Second matchup here in Losers round two or elimination round two, the Toronto Ultra versus the Paris Legion. Once again, two teams that have both had their moments. Paris, once again, was one of the best teams on land, debatably fourth or fifth, you could say up there with the Huntsman likewise, and all those other teams that have not entered the bracket yet, but have slid off as online plays continued and were kind of in the slump for a while, but recently towards the end of the season have been seeming to find their groove again, which is nice. But Toronto, on the other hand, has been looking very spicy as of recently of course like i just said they just appeared in the grand finals kleenex has been looking absolutely amazing props to him and i think this is going to be a very good series as well but i do think i will have to call this one to the boys of toronto ultra in a three to one fashion winners round two first time we see 
Chicago Huntsman and the Florida Mutineers both hit the playing field. Here we start with the first matchup, Chicago Huntsman versus the New York Submariners. We've seen this matchup before and did not go the way we would have hoped or expected. It happened in the Grand Finals, the New York Home Series, the New York Submariners were able to pull out against Huntsman, but I do think Huntsman are still definitely debatably a favorite to win this event. And just with all the experiences, lots of experience in this area on both teams, but I just think with the first year franchising and just the power on Huntsman with T2P, the Twins, and like someone clearly in the MVP run. I do think it'll just be a little bit too much for some liners, and I do think that they will be able to prevail this time, and we'll take the series 3-1 to one over the New York Sun liners. Other matchup here in winner's round two, the Florida Mutineers versus the London Royal Ravens. Florida Mutineers, they were the Florida onliners for a while. They were the team that really started taking off the most more than anybody else prior, or that hadn't really taken off before things switched to online with the um, addition of Awakening, the team's been looking absolutely disgusting, and they are also a happy favorite to win this event. London Royal Ravens, on the other hand, I'd give you their storyline. They were kind of looking better in a land scenario and started sliding a little bit, but recently, towards the end of the season, have been back on the come up and looking to make their return. But I do think I'm going to have to give this one to the Ford Mutineers. They've just looked absolutely insane since about the middle of the season, and I think it will go pretty close to that, which is why I'll give it a 3 to 2. Losers round three or elimination round three. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First matchup here, London Royal Ravens versus Optic Gaming. Both teams have had their moments. Both this could be this is a tough series to call really here. Optic just made a top four. London has been up there proving that they can compete with these top teams for a while. I think it's gonna be a very competitive series, but honestly, I something just is telling me like Optic can make a loser's run in this bracket with just the way it looks right now. I really do think they can pull through and I especially think with them having people like Slash on their team, like if you think about him, he was on the 100T team. Kenny was on the 100T team that made that loser's run last year that was insane when they beat FaZe and I just think they are in a position to do it again. So, which is why I think this one I'm gonna have to call three, two, one in favor of LA Optic. Losers round three, the New York Subliners versus the Toronto Ultra. Two teams here that, once again, both clearly looked good. Both teams have been in grand finals recently. New York, debatably, you could say a top five team now. As of recently, Toronto have been looking to prove themselves. Was once at the bottom of the barrel, but have steadily risen to the occasion here before champs. And their team's been looking really good. But I do think I'm going to have to go with the New York Subliners in this one, even with how good Toronto Ultra has looked. I think Mac has just been a great addition to the New York Subliners roster, and I think that Zoom when attached with the Champs XP and just Temp, I think that roster will just be too much for Toronto Ultra to handle, which is why I think I'll have to call this one 3 2 1 in favor of the New York Subliners. Winners round three, your top four teams in the standings currently, Atlanta Faye, Chicago Huntsman, Dallas Empire, and Florida Mutineers. Here we go. All right, and first matchup we have Atlanta Faye versus the Chicago Huntsman. Pretty much one and two for almost all season until I'd say about roughly, maybe a little before halfway or halfway, Florida took over for a little bit. Faye was in a little bit of a slide. And then of course, Dallas with the new meta has been steadily on the rise but these two teams pretty much one and two all season it could easily be a year championship matchup here like no one would be surprised to see that happen i think this series is going to be very very close and this is probably the hardest match i've had to call so far you have the uh, tiny terrors clearly the run e united versus all the chicago huntsman boys and then you have priest as well who played on 100t last year major maniac who played on gen g and Asalium, who was clearly one of the best rookies last season. Both teams are just absolutely insane. I do think this one, though, I'm going to have to call in favor of the Chicago Huntsman 3 2 2. Well, I did not mean to do that, excuse me. 3 to 2. As I do think that the, the Chicago Huntsman search has been looking very good as of recently. They can continue that. And they only have to take one respawn on phase. Phase has been steadily on the decline in respawns. They've looked absolutely insane, do not get me wrong. Which is why the series is going 3 2, and they're both sitting in winners round 3. It's really a tough matchup to call, but I just have a feeling here that the Chicago Huntsman will be able to pull it out. I have faith in the boys, which is why I call it 3 2. First matchup here, though Atlanta Phase versus Chicago Huntsman. We have a T2P Envoy and the Twins versus the Tiny Terrors, Salium, Major Maniac, and. Priest, uh, excuse me. 
obviously two insane rosters, both the Tiny Terrors coming from EU United, who won champs last year, Priest coming from 100T, who took circuit last year, Major Maniac coming from Gen G, one of the best teams that did not win an event last year, and then some of the most historic Call of Duty players ever, Scump, Formal, and then the Twins, Presti and Arsenies, who also run EU United last year, so all around a very, very, very hard match to call. I do think I will have to give this one to the favor of the boys at Atlanta phase, though, in a 3-2 fashion. They were on top of the game pretty much all season, and I do think that that dominance will just continue to show here when it hits champs time and really gets down to prime time. Next up here, the other matchup in winners round three, the Dallas Empire versus the Florida Mutineers. Dallas Empire were a top contender all season. If you remember preseason standings, Atlanta FA, Chicago Watson, Dallas Empire were top three. They've continued to just show why they are a top team and can compete at this level with these other top teams. And with this new meta, have been looking even better, securing another event win recently. Versus the Florida Mutineers, they were the team that kind of just stepped in out of nowhere into the top four. Two event wins with Awakening, and the team kind of just took off. But I do think with the way things have been looking recently, Florida's been sliding a little bit, and Dallas has been looking like they're going to be gunning for the ship, like 100%. So I do think this one, I'm going to have to give a favor to the Dallas Empire in a 3-2-1 fashion. You know, actually, I don't know if I can trust Florida enough to take a map on Dallas of the way it's been looking recently, so I also think I'm gonna have to give it to Dallas instead. 3-2-0 oh, for the first shutout. Here we sit now, elimination round four, losers round four, Chicago Hunter versus Optic Gaming. This matchup we had last home series event and LA Optic somehow was able to pull it out but I do not think history will repeat itself in this scenario. It, it's a very tough matchup to call with, of course, Slasher and Kenny. Both 100 TI guys made that loser run last year. Champs could very easily do it again here and have that same motivation and drive. But you also have Scump, Formal, and all of the hunting boys I've been talking about pretty much the whole time, and they've been a top team pretty much all season. Optic was looking lackluster until the end or like mid-season here, and I just think with it becoming champs and down to prime time once again, that the Chicago Huntsman skill will just be too much for the boys at LA Optic to handle, which means I will have to be calling this one 3-2-1 in favor of Chicago Huntsman in the rematch. You know, I think I think I can give LA Optic another map here. They did take Huntsman last time, and they do have a lot of experience in situations like this and with their backs pinned against the wall. And I honestly do think they will give Huntsman a run for the money a little bit, so I actually will call this one 3-2. to two. Last match appearing in Elimination Round 4, Losers Round 4, the Florida Butte News versus the New York Subliners. New York Subliners have been looking exceptionally good. Florida obviously have two. Both teams with event wins now. I've seen New York Subliners have been looking better as of late just because Florida's been sliding a little bit. Like, they haven't really slid, but, like, they just haven't been on top of the game as much as they were at one point. At one point, they were, without a doubt, looking like the best team in the game when they were about to take the, like, rest of the season out. But that has not been the case as of recently. And I do think the subliners, just with their experience, Zuma, Tash, Temp, as I said before, all those guys versus Awakening and, like, Pharaoh, who didn't play in the league last year. And I do think that they will take the victory over the Florida Mutineers in a 3 Two one fashion. Here we sit, boys. Championship weekend. <laughs> Look at how it ends up. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Atlanta phase versus South Empire, and then Chicago Huntsmen versus New York Subliners. First match up here: Atlanta phase versus Dallas Empire. Dallas clearly just um, has been looking amazing as of recently with the new meta. Just secured the event win. Phase, of course, has been dominant pretty much all season one. They were just at the top of the standings. Both teams absolutely insane. I do think, though, I will have to give this one to the boys at Atlanta phase in a 3-2 to two fashion, though, as they've just been looking phenomenal all season, and I just continue, or I expect their reign of terror to just continue on to championship weekend, and they will come out gunning and take the win over Dallas here. Here we sit, elimination round five, or losing round five, the Chicago Hunter versus New York subliners. Once again, this matchup, we've seen it a lot. We saw it in a grand finals. We saw it in winner's round two here at Champs. And here we sit again with this matchup happening. But once again, I do think this one will once again go in favor of the Chicago Huntsman. As I just think it is just too much firepower for New York to handle. But I do think that New York will push them a little bit harder this time with the fire also igniting in them. Which is why they'll go 3 to 2 in favor of the Chicago Huntsman. Losers finals right here. Dallas Empire versus Chicago Huntsman for third place in Modern Warfare. The bronze medal team. 
both teams once again multiple event wins have both been looking absolutely phenomenal at times two phenomenal rosters both teams with pros who won champs last year of course with clay Stroud, empire shotzi in the running for a rookie as well with envoy so you have the two rookies and all around just 10 very talented players right here i do think though that huntsman will honestly come out firing i think that they'll be very fired up for this matchup we're gonna also see like Scump v Krim. I think the Scump and Formula should be very fired up. Silver Krim and Clay and everybody on Empire do not get me wrong, but I just think that the Huntsman is really going to want to bring it home like heavily for Chicago, which is why I do think this one will go 3 2 1 to send Dallas out of CDL champs. Last matchup here CDL champs. Best of nine Atlanta phase versus Chicago Huntsman. One and two. How do we call it, ladies and gentlemen? Tiny Terrors, Salium, Major Maniac, and Priesta versus T2P, the Twins, and Envoy. I do think this is going to be an insanely close matchup, of course, as it is best of nine. I do think this one is going to go very close. But I do think it will go in favor of Atlanta Phase just barely by two maps there in a 5 3 fashion. I think they'll be able to pull it out. Congratulations to them, as I clearly think you're the best team in the game. I picked them to win multiple events this season, and I'm doing it again here at Champs. I have lots of faith in them. Like, the team is just frying on all cylinders. I expect it to continue going into Champs the same way it has all season long. I don't really expect them to be slacking at all, especially when it comes to the heat of the moment here, and the pressure's really on. All right, guys, but here's the finished bracket once again. Uh, I did make one small change. The only thing I did was I gave Ellie Optic a 3-0 over the London Royal Ravens in Losers Round 3. I just think Ellie Optic, honestly, like, I feel like they have the potential to make a big Losers run here. I know the team that they have, the way they've been looking recently, they just appeared in a championship Sunday, literally last event before champs. They're going to be coming out hungry. London's a good team, but I just feel like Ellie Optic honestly might shake up some noise here in the losers bracket which is why i just gave them a 3-0 here a hot 3-0 all right guys but other than that that's pretty much it once again congratulations to atlanta phase i have you guys being the winners of call of duty modern warfare competitively speaking and here we go boys all right guys that's pretty much all i have for the video today i would first off like to thank you all for your support on these all season long i've had a really fun time making these bracket predictions and i think it's awesome how much you guys seem to enjoy them as well and how well they've been doing I would also like to wish all 12 teams the best of luck throughout playoffs, and I can't wait to see how things look come championship weekend. I really did enjoy making these a lot, and would love to continue this series next season. If you guys enjoyed this video, and the series in general, as you progress through the MW season, make sure to leave a like. Also, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, or how you think the event may play out. As we enter the off season here, I plan to upload more content to my channel for you guys to enjoy. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and it's been CIA. Peace.